I'm realizing lately that, let me pick up. I'm realizing lately I do not know how to make YouTube videos at all. I don't know how to work a camera at all. I don't know how to edit my videos at all. I don't know how to make entertainment at all. 3D Machines is going downhill and that's it. We're, we're closing up shop today. Our finances aren't right. We're going bankrupt. That is not happening at all. But yes, I did screw up the audio again today, so I'm sorry. But at the same time, I'm making moves. A lot of machine freaks are making moves off camera, off YouTube, in their own lives. I'm not even worried about the audio. I'm too excited about what's in this box, and I will show you what's in this box later on in the video after we do the vlog. I will, however, shake the box like they do at the birthdays and stuff like that. To kind of get an idea of what's in the box and what's happening and what's going on. And uh, let's get into the vlog. Bro roll the vlog. Painting the Duramax has been a journey. And not a small journey like a commute to work. Oh crap, that was from last night. I forgot to put those away. The wind must have blew this thing and then it blew those things and this hit the concrete. And obviously, when glass hits concrete, it breaks. Hey, the nice thing is it's on a piece of plastic. I can just pick the plastic up and throw it out. You gotta love when things just fall into place like that. No pun intended. Unlike the Duramax. Duramax, the pieces have not fallen into place. They have fallen out of the place. Uh, correction, out of place. Yes, this journey has taken us on a detour, but that detour hasn't been completely bad. I mean, we have some scenic routes. We, ha we hang out with some family. Jake or any of my friends haven't come down and offered to help, but that's okay. I guess this is just family time. Clutch. One of the perks of working with your family is you can kind of push their buttons and not really worry about, you know, them backlashing or them getting offended, they kind of understand. That's why I like working with Josh and Cole. Plus, Cole has proven to be a better body guy than I am. I, I have a better body though. He's a better body guy, but you know. Anyways, and then Josh is an absolute savage. Like he went into here without me even knowing and he fixed this piece. Like I sanded it down, but then he painted it. The same with under here. I found some imperfections. He painted this without me knowing while priming it. If you want to get technical on me. Speaking of the devil, look at that ride. Josh, that's a nice rig. Thank you. <laughs> I haven't I haven't discussed this with Josh yet. But what I've what I have learned about the whole painting procedure is it's like asking like a girl out you have to do the right steps or it doesn't doesn't turn out very well you know you could get dumped or you you could you know result in with scratches and scuffs and drips and stuff like that so you got to take the right approach does, does that make sense it is that's a good <laughs> analogy <laughs> thank you I'll do the spots where you, you can't put possibly get up. All right, I, I like doing those spots. Josh, am I hard to work with? No, not at all. That's good. I think this is like our first time ever like hanging out. I know it is. Growing up, we didn't uh, hang out a lot. He didn't like me. Which is kind of weird because my mom and your mom are kind of like best friends, cousins growing up. Yeah. So you might... Second. You know, I try, I was thinking about that the other day. We don't know how we're related. <laughs> well, your mom, my mom, cousins, right? Yes. So that's second cousin? Is it second or is it great cousin? I don't know. Or what the hell is a second cousin? I think it's... Maybe your viewers can tell us. Tell us how we're related, folks. My mom's your cousin? Yeah. Your mom's cousin? Yeah, your mom is my mom's cousin. Are you, are you confused yet? We are. We are definitely confused. It's quite pungent. Oh, yeah. Cole thinks he can wheelie. <laughs> He's gonna wreck. <laughs> Come on, Cole, I gotta go back to work. Make this good. Huh? Oh, look at <laughs> He's ripping it. He's ripping it. Oh. All right, that was pretty good. Time to continue sanding. Things the nostrils in a good way. Yeah. Brian, I'm gonna be honest with you then. Okay, I got it. 
I rode his brother's snow bike. Right? Yeah. Alright. So, uh, that, that's a little bit of backstory on him. I don't, I, you've never been in the video, so I can't, like, say, oh, he was in this video. How'd you like the snow bike? It was, it was good. Does, does he still have it? Yeah. It's all in one piece? No, it's just a regular dirt bike now. Okay. So, uh, it's just like, uh, he can just bolt it back on or something? Yeah. That's nice. I'm gonna have to come back up and try that thing out. Yeah. That was awesome. So, we need some stuff? Yeah. What do we need? A little bit of sandpaper. And uh, scotch, scotch, scotch spray? Right, yeah, same paper uh, scotch brights. All right, my Duramax is kind of uh, out of commission. Can I use your vehicle? Yeah, go ahead. Just you got to remember, the grind's going into third. The clutch is a little funny. Uh, it shakes if you go over 20. Perfect. Sounds like a quality vehicle. Sounds like the Duramax. Uh, I'll be back soon. All right. It smells like pure gasoline. Six With all of your precautions, I'm going to wear my seatbelt. You put it in reverse. I'm gonna guess. Reverse is over there. I'm in reverse. 60% of the time. It... Oh, she's nice! He says the clutch is funny, the gas pedal's funny. It's either floored or not. Josh, you're out of gas. This thing's awesome! This thing's awesome! Josh said he picked this thing up for 200 bucks. That doesn't make sense. I'm sure this is a definite cop magnet though. There's just something about riding... There's just so... There's just something about driving a POS like this that brings me right back to my 16 and uh, which takes me back to the 16 through 19 years of age uh, driving. There's some good and there's some bad. Rule number one, buckle up. I don't know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna send it. I made it. Watch out, guy. I don't know how to drive this thing. We're sanding out a couple imperfections, getting ready for another coat of prime. Painting your own vehicle is a huge pain in the ass. But I am very glad that I got resourceful and called Josh up. Number three, going for four. Okay, the point you've all been waiting for, the point that I've been waiting for, I'm pumped. There it is. We got a new decal. Everybody's been wanting new decals. Everybody's wanting new stickers. We got it going. We got it dialed in. And we're starting off right and stylish and fly. I mean, check that out. Now I can spruce up a lot of things with this new decal. Oh yeah. Look at that. I can't just stop at one, folks. Yeah! Woo, she's hot. So 3D Machines, where can I get this hot new decal slash sticker? Well, that's another move, you guys. We got a website. I made a website. It's machinemerch.com. What better name than machinemerch.com? Machine, you get your merch. Get your merch here. I will leave a link to my website in the description. Cole and I are gonna fulfill your orders. Uh, I haven't told Cole yet, but he's definitely gonna be helping with the orders. And, and why stop the excitement with just getting a decal? The first 25 people to order a decal will get an original 3D Machine sticker as well. 
Get them while they're hot and get them while they're in stock. They won't last long. This sticker is hot. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Stay super fly, stay froggy fresh. I want to incorporate a lot of you machine freaks that purchased my future decals and my future apparel and my future hats and things like that. So, so be sure to take some pictures, send them to my website email. We can share the fame and we can show that we're machine freaks. Enjoy your day. 3D Machines out.